I believe it's live. Yes, we are live. So, I am on tour. I'm on tour here at the moment uh, in Nottingham. We played Bournemouth last night. Thanks to everybody who came down to Bournemouth. Um, oh, thank you. Tea. Uh, played Bournemouth last night. Nice start to the tour. People seem to be really into the fire cannons. Everyone's mad into the fire cannons, which is great um, because fire is really expensive nowadays. If you haven't been to the tour, do come down and check out the fire cannons. We've got purple fire, red fire, pink fire, yellow fire, green fire. Um, I might add some other colours as the tour goes on. Probably not blue fire though. Um, not in them tonight. Been up today, made a smoothie, very tasty smoothie. Went down to the local hospital to the Teenage Cancer Trust ward and met some young patients. They seemed to be very pleased that I was there. I stuck someone on a guest list tonight, so I'll hopefully give them a little rave. Do my bit for the sick kids. Uh, where's my band? I think the band are going to come and say hello in a minute. Hello. So, you guys have been sending in your questions for me. Anything you like. What is this? So, questions, 33 new tweets. Let me read out the ones from yesterday, actually. Favorite song to perform live? Mm, when we used to perform, I really liked Skies Don't Lie, but we've dropped that from the set list now. Now, my favorite performer is Natural Disaster. Do you prefer performing with the band or the DJ set? Mm. When we do clubs, like in Ibiza or Mallorca, or when we go to Europe or whatever, my favourite is the DJ show because it's just a bit more, I don't know, non-stop, aggressive, a bit faster paced. And when we do the band show, I prefer that for festivals of my own, like headline shows and arenas. What is my favourite TV show? Um, my favourite TV show is probably I like Ball Ball Empire. I like Sons of Anarchy. Here we go. What are you thinking for new genre fill to your next album? I know it's a long time away. Or are you thinking of staying with the same? Um, my fifth album, I'm thinking I'm going to go back to a, like a 90s sort of vibe. Uh, 90s rave. Like Faithless or Prodigy or Chemical Brothers, inspired by them. Look them up if you don't know who they are. It's my new haircut, by the way. Hello. Hello, I'm here. Uh, I was a bit hot in Australia. It's just too hot. I was like 46 degrees, and my old hair was just getting too much to manage. So I just... Ch -ch 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 -ch. This is a scar where I had a tumour removed as a kid. Lots of people don't know that story. There you go. Got a fact for you there. More questions. Here we go. When you come to Russia, will you do a concert? I did play Russia last year. I hope to come back then. I hope to come back. Hope to come back soon. Uh, someone says, "Why is Josie so weird?" I don't know who Josie is. My grandma was called Josie. Rest in peace, Grandma Josie. Um, are you looking forward to your two Irish dates? I really hope I get to meet you. Of course, I'm looking forward to my Irish dates. Um, I've been playing in Ireland for years and I love Ireland and the people of Ireland and the crack always off for the crack would you go for coffee, coffee with me in Prague well yeah if you bump into me in the street let's go get coffee but I can't exactly make plans now will you have a tour in America I think the answer to that is yes I'd love to oh hello oh this is Kai Kai he's come to say hello Kai Kai, say hello. Hey, yeah. Um, Kai Kai is the new guitarist, keyboard player. He's um, he's younger than me, but has more hair. A lot more hair. Okay, it's that. That not you know what I mean? Pretty hairy. Uh, he's like my brother already. How was the first show? 
Yeah, he's rocking. He's good. He's from like weird places, so he says weird stuff like rocking. Yeah. Northern. What's for dinner tonight? What's the catering saying? I don't know. I haven't checked yet. Apparently, there's um, Thai chicken curry. Yeah. And steak and Guinness pie. Steak. That's the pie. That's one of the pie. Who's this? Johnny, just come say hello. <laughs> this is a live webcam to the town. Hello. Hello. Um, say hello to people who might be watching this. There's probably only like, there's like 14 people watching this. Really? Yeah. No, there's about, about 100 in. 100 people, that's loads of people. There's 512 viewers. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? But, oh no, no there's, 400, 10, there's 10 less now, I've come. 408 oh, people. Oh, it's gone up. No, it's, it's gone going up. up. Yeah. Um, yeah, wait, what are we on now? <laughs> the good thing is, oh no. Um, it's on live on YouTube as well. Oh really? Yeah, so there could potentially be seven million people watching this on YouTube. But on Google Hangout. Amazing. Amazing. Who's hanging out on Google who who hangs out on Google? Quite, quite. Sort of people? Uh, I'm hanging out on Google, sorry. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not hang out on Google? Draw me some questions. Where's that where's um, Spandacino? Spandacino is coming. Where's Spandacino? Spandacino, Shell Drake. Um, what are your thoughts on headlining Leeds Festival? Well I'm not. That's M and M. Andy, say hello quickly so we can get us over with. Chat, hello. Hello. It's hello. chat roulette, basically. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Andy, but it's us playing us. Andy, yeah. talk us through yeah. your jumper today. Wearing a slightly oversized black jumper. That you've That's been the wearing for the last two weeks. Yeah, because uh, it's the only one I've got. You look like a homeless dog. Thanks, Elliot. Do you guys want to go and eat now so I can finish answering the questions? <laughs> what, <do we> do? <laughs> what questions are you doing? Uh, these ones here. Are they people talking to you? Yeah, it's like. Can't we see some of them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the chat? Is it possible to get your BBM pin? Nah. Nah. Do you have my iPhone pin there. Do you do birthday parties? Nah. What's the best city in the UK to do a gig at? Manchester? Glasgow? Yeah, Manchester. Yeah, Manchester. Yeah. Or oh, Newcastle, new Newcastle, new Newcastle, new Newcastle. New new mm. Are you going to change anything in your music making carer? I think I mean, I mean, I think I mean career. After your marriage, I think that means marriage. Have you thought in doing some acting? I think that means have you thought of doing some acting? I can see you in comedy series already. Maybe comedy film. Maybe comedy film. I think maybe comedy film. Which <laughs> uh, artist would you feature with? Labyrinth or Tiny Temper? Which artist should I feature with? Um, uh, either really, either or, whatever they need. Um, could you be sure that you love Nando's more than my mum does? Probably. I mean, unless your mum's like some Portuguese South African. Just had seven hundred Nando's dinners. Yeah, you would. Would you collaborate with Calvin Harris Those again? Corroborate. Of course, I would. <laughs> corroborate. <laughs> corroborate. Corroborate. You look the same again, so yeah, uh, you probably should. Me and Calvin have got the same. He hasn't got my tumor scar, but he does have a similar. <laughs> Although my face, what do you say I look like? Calvin Harris looking into a spoon. Yeah, I read that somewhere. <laughs> Thanks, for Andy. Where do your gigs mostly sell out? Um, Ticketmaster. <laughs> 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 so go and eat now. <laughs> I've got to do this for like 15 more minutes. Oh, the viewers have gone up. The viewers have gone up. Right. <laughs> Should bring it in the catering. No. Nah. Can you not bring it in? No, because you're on a hard wire. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, are you excited about your performance? Yes. What support act do you like most out of everyone I've had? Well, my favourite support act ever has got to be Ed Sheeran. He supported me on a couple of tours. And obviously now he's one of the biggest acts in the world. And it's amazing to see. Lovely fella. Very talented. Fully deserved. Do you think you'll come back to Belgium if they'll have me? How much fun was Bournemouth last night? Loads. Who was your idol growing up? My dad. What's the biggest highlight of your career? Mm, I'd say V Festival last year. Main stage, playing for like 70,000 people before Noel Gallagher. And Stone Roses, big moment for me. If you could perform at any venue in the UK, where would it be? Ells Court. Always wanted to play that. It's like the big local legendary venue, and I'm playing that in a few weeks. Uh, it's going to be quite emotional. My parents are flying over from Australia for that one. My girlfriend says, my fiance, sorry, my fiance says I'm, I make too much noise when I slurp my tea. I'm very slurpy. 
Yeah, she's right. So I've got a massive mouth. Uh, what do you like more, Indian or Chinese? What people or food? I don't think you can really judge people by you know their country of origin. Food wise, I'm going to say Indian. Um, do I ch still chat to Mike Skinner? Uh, occasionally on Twitter. Uh, have you started working on your next album? I've started gathering music and ideas and I've got all the song titles for my fifth album and I've got the title for my fifth album but I probably won't be sharing this information for maybe six months because for me the focus is still on the evolution of man and in particular the new single Perfect Replacement out in a few weeks I believe it's obviously on the album but it's officially out in a few weeks and if you buy it then it rises up the chart I don't really care but the record label get happy so you know what I mean help a man out uh, I'm confused. What is this thing about? <laughs> what a great question. Uh, well, oh, that's the end of questions. Uh, oh no, there's more. There's another. Wow, how many questions is that? That's a lot of questions. Here we go. 48 new tweets. Why did you cut your hair earlier? Answered that earlier, didn't I? It's because it was too hot in Australia. Uh, will you invite your fans to your wedding? <laughs> Obviously not. No disrespect, but it's meant to be like a personal day, like a private day. Um, was Bournemouth Perfect Starts a Tour? Yes, you know that, Paulina. Um, what's your next goal after finding out you were headlining festivals? Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Um, my next goal after headlining festivals is going to be stadiums. Um, I mean, I'm headlining some of the smaller festivals this year, like the medium-sized festivals, um, you know, like 30,000 people. I want to headline the sort of 100,000 people festivals. Um, and I'd like to start doing arenas in Europe. That would be nice. And then I'll think about maybe America. And... How many festivals have you booked this year from Louis or Louis if he's French. Hello, my name is Louis. How many festivals have you booked this year? I have booked eight in the UK. I've only announced two of them. So there's a lot more to be announced. I've got about 12 in Europe. Places like Lithuania. Never been Lithuania. Uh, don't headline Leeds Fest. I'm not. Uh, I remember seeing your ultrasound. I shouted your name uh, and you waved at me. Nah, hi. Will you make your new album happier, like Won't Go Quietly? Um, yeah, I suppose so, because I'm in a happier place right now. Are you going to be working with Professor Green anytime soon? Well, I was in the studio with him maybe a year ago. And um, we, I sang a chorus to one of his songs. And um, I think it's going to be on his new album. And it might be a single. What's your favourite beer? Beer, I like like a pale ale. Any brand. Um, can we get another picture after your tour in Colm? Colm, Colm. Yeah, I'm sure. That's fine. Uh... Are there songs that you really don't like that you've written? I wouldn't say there's songs that I don't like. There's certainly songs that don't feel like me. Um, like they feel like just weird experimentation songs. I'd say on Playing in the Shadows, there's songs like Microphone, which I know a lot of people really like. It's not like I dislike it, I just don't feel like it's me. And then like on Won't Go Quietly, there's a song like Millionaires, which again, I think is a beautiful song, but it's, it doesn't really feel like me. And it's not a reflection of my interest in music. And I kind of think going forward, I'm not going to release any songs that I'm not 100% proud of or happy with. But certainly in the, in the past, 
every song I've released, I've kind of, at the time, I've gone, yeah, this is me. And then afterwards, I've gone, nah, I didn't really like that. But of my recent stuff, like everything in the live show, like all my big singles, they're all my favorite songs, basically. I like performing the darker stuff better. Uh, would you ever collab with Disclosure and do a housey type song? Well, I have done plenty of housey type songs already. Um, I would definitely collaborate with Disclosure. They're good lads, and I'm a big fan of them. Uh, will I do another song with Dad Life? Yes, why not? Do you miss David not being in your band? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose I do miss him, but you know, Kai is a Kai Kai is a great replacement, the perfect replacement. <laughs> Who's your biggest influence as a musician? From Mark McCormack. He sounds Irish, doesn't he? Um, I love Kurt Cobain stuff because it's so unique and simple. He wrote really simple but catchy, clever songs. A lot of repetition. They're always quite moody and emotional. And I, I like the dark melodies and the minor keys. Uh, what else we got? What thing can fans? What things that fans do instantly annoy you? Mm, I wouldn't say it's anything that annoys me. I'd say the most frustrating stuff is I reply to so many people with information. And I post so much information about everything to do with my career. And people still want to tweet and go, where's your website? Where's your gigs? And you kind of just want to be like, I posted a link earlier. You know what I mean? If you could be a superhero, who would you be? Spider-Man. Uh, Molly Greenwood says, this is not working on phones. No, Molly, it's not. Get a laptop. Duh. Um, why is Queen of Your Dreams not in your set list? Honestly, do you want the honest answer? Because I, I find it really hard to sing it live. When it's right at the top of my vocal range, and when I recorded that song in the studio, I really, really had to strain my voice to sing it. Queen of your dreams, for the rest of your life. So if I was to do it in this show, I wouldn't be able to perform it at the start or the middle of the show because it would strain my voice for the rest of the show. And I can't perform it last or at the end of the set because as a live song, it's not big enough to change the way you kiss me or natural disaster or perfect replacement. Some songs I think were just meant for the album or for the car and other songs are meant for the live show. <laughs> Who's your favorite person in Yorkshire? <laughs> I think you know, don't you? Yeah, you do. Mm, what's the biggest and most important thing in your life right now? Uh, for me, I'm just trying to work now for the future, I suppose, and look after my missus and raise a family soon. So that's kind of where my mind is at the moment. Do you remember doing Magaluf last year? Obviously. I remember all my gigs. And I went to Magaluf about eight times. Uh, uh, what would you say inspires you to write songs? Holly, I would say what inspires me would be just real life. Back in when I started writing songs, I used to sort of really experiment with everything I was doing. I was like, I used to like write songs like Something in the Water or Dirty Face and I didn't really know what they were about and they weren't really that personal to me. Uh, songs like Time Machine and everything on the first album wasn't really personal, it was me just trying to be someone else. Which is why that album doesn't really feel like me. It was kind of me trying to copy people. Whereas the stuff I'm doing now feels like me. So, yeah, real life inspires me. Uh, favorite song on the tour at the moment is Perfect Replacement because there's fire. Um, best venue I've been to in the UK. I usually base it on where it's got the nicest showers. Um, Manchester's got lovely showers. Manchester Arena, 
London O2 Arena, really. I suppose because it's the most modern and most recently built. I'd have to say that has the nicest, the nicest uh, venue. Everything in there is so good. The worst venue wouldn't be fair to say. I don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> worst gig I've ever been to. And the only gig I've walked out of was Radiohead, and that's not because I don't think they're great musicians. I think Radiohead's amazing musicians, amazing songwriters, but as a live experience for me, it just wasn't very exciting or inspiring, and I walked out. But that's not to say that I think Radiohead are rubbish. I think Radiohead are amazing, and I wish I could have made an album as amazing as OK Computer, but wasn't for me, certainly not as a live experience. You gotta play Kickstarts, love that tune, obviously. How often are you mistaken for Calvin Harris? I'd say four or five times a day. I'm not sure if it's because of how we look, I think it's more because they just hear electronic music and go, Calvin Harris, example, same person. I don't know if it's that they think our voice is similar or our music or the fact we've collaborated together. The people here will be coming back and then see me and go, oh, Kevin Harris. Many, many people in foreign countries. And Australia, where they think I'm a DJ. Everyone in Australia, in the newspaper. Example, DJ example, mix master example. I'm not a mix master, not a DJ, am I? No. Uh, no, no, no. All right, a couple more questions, I've got to go. Um, let's go to the top of the questions and read. Ooh. 139 new questions. Why did you block me? I don't know. You probably said something really nasty. I don't really reply to many haters anymore. I block about 30 people a day. 40 sometimes. Mainly on Fridays. There's a lot of nasty people out about on Fridays. Uh, do you remember supporting Tinchy Strider? Of course. I remember everything. I've got an amazing memory. I remember. There's a lot of things I'm awful at, but I'm great at memory. Um, which song took the shortest time to write? I think it probably changed where you kissed me. I wrote that in about half an hour. It's weird because something that can take like that, you just get in a zone. And I think I remember re watching documentaries on the Beatles and John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Not that I'm comparing myself to them, obviously, but they said that they would write songs in like half an hour or an hour. And I think sometimes you just get in the zone. <laughs> You're such a down to earth guy, Elliot. Thanks for being top lad. Thank you, Declan. Appreciate that. Although a lot of people think I'm really arrogant and nasty, and I'm not. I'm constantly taking the pee out of myself. And I, if you had a baby boy, what would you call him? I'd probably name him after one of my granddads. Like I'd call him Stanley or Eric. Classic names, classic British names. A couple more questions. Did you enjoy your Hungarian gig last summer? It was amazing. Balaton Sounds, that was such a sick gig. Uh, why aren't you performing Hooligans on this tour? I am. You obviously didn't get the memo. Mm. Do you find it hard to balance your career and personal life? Not really. You kind of get good at it. Like, sometimes you can let one take over the other. but. You just start doing it naturally after a while. Are you and Professor Green the same person? <laughs> nice. Um, did this naughty skittle advert inspire Come Taste the Rainbow? No. I actually wrote that song and then the afters went, oh no. Skittles reference. If you won the Spice Girls, who would you be? Who would I be or who would I be in? Ooh. Saucy. Um, my favourite Spice Girl was always Posh Spice until she got thin. Um, why don't you just do comedy and forget the music? Your music is okay, but you're a better comedian. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, hilarious, Will. You should be a comedian too. We come back to Bournemouth, hopefully. Are you planning on coming to Aberdeen? Well, sadly, I had to cancel that one because no one bought tickets. And your prep responses were, because you're rubbish. I didn't want you to come to Aberdeen anyway. Um, well, the rest of the UK has all bought tickets and we've nearly sold out all the gigs. So thank you, rest of the UK. 
But I'll come back to Aberdeen if they have me. Uh, two more questions. Planning a new album, I've already answered that. Yes. Starting next year. And final question. Please come to Cambridge. Um, I don't know. I'd love to. I love Cambridge. And not to sound like an idiot, but the venue in Cambridge, Corn Exchange, amazing venue, is probably small to fit my stage show in. But when I start getting rubbisher, which could happen, and things start crumbling, and I'm not playing arenas, there is a good chance I may come back to Cambridge Corn Exchange. That's the end of examples. Google Hangout. I've been example. You have been Google Hangout. And uh, thank you all for joining me today. And uh, you know, it's been emotional. I may do this again because it's quite it's been quite fun. And you know, doesn't seem that many people have switched off. Take care, guys. See you later. Come see me on tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>